I don't know guys. A little part of me says this can survive a beak. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up Mabu High Squad? Here at the Mabu High Squad farmhouse. Let's go in. Let's see. Here's the house. There's Kathy. Hi Kathy. <laughs> That's our interior designer who RJ is collaborating with. There's Don, the project manager. And guys, here's the aviary. Our last vlog was ex a 40 minute vlog about birds for this aviary. Guys, I don't know. You guys are giving so much good feedback. But yeah, so they've started to finally rock clad this side and there and they will finish here. But turns out we're kind of short of stones, which is so weird because RJ thought that we had ordered enough, but we're actually short. So um, yeah, I think this side up here will have to remain uncladded for now till the next shipment of stones comes in. Okay, I wanted to show you the window frames of this aviary. Just wanted to show you what kind of birds like what we have to worry about for the birds. Awesome. Possibly think of ways that we could protect. By the way, yes, fully tiled second floor hallway. Awesome. Okay, so here's the window, right? Does this open? Oh, it's so heavy. So see guys, there's this little track here that I'm just concerned the birds might be able to get to and like bite, but maybe not. So the track looks like this. So when the window is actually drawn over it, I'm not so concerned. But like when this window is closed and the track is exposed over there, it looks like this. So it's a hard, it seems really solid guys. I mean, I feel like I could take a hammer to this and it wouldn't damage. But like against the beak of a macaw, not sure guys. And see this, it, this is a rubber part. I feel like a macaw would be able to pull this off. Medium-sized parrot, possibly, like Ligaya. I'm sure Ligaya, if she really, really, really tried, she could remove this. Small parrots like budgies, had, I've had those as well. I know their destruction capability. I don't think they would be able to like remove this rubber piece. Budgies, I don't think can destroy this part either. It's solid guys. I think it's actually made of metal. So yeah, but like see this rubber part? I'm afraid a macaw or something might be able to um, really damage this. But I don't know. I could be wrong. I mean, I'm, like guys, this is a lot of space. I, I'm wondering if as long as I keep the decor far from the windows, if a macaw would even try to go to the track. Do you know what I mean? Like really, it's just the track at this part that's exposed. Um, and this part, if ever I decide to completely open the window, this glass part. There's also, guys, a screen mesh part. See, in case we want wind to blow through. So in order for that to happen, I have to move the glass part aside, which again exposes this track part. I don't know, guys. <laughs> A little part of me says this can survive a beak. I'm not sure. Anyway, the aviary will be stocked with wood. We'll hang wooden toys. There'll be lots of branches that can be removable um, that the birds can tear up if they, you know, if I do decide to put parrots in here. But anyways, yeah, this is just what I wanted to show you guys in terms of the aviary. So that we know exactly um, what we're dealing with here in terms of what I'm worried about for bird damage. I'm not so worried about these top ones because they're kind of covered. But again, this too is once like over here, way down there, that track will be exposed to birds, you know, wanting to destroy this. Guys, I would love to have medium or even large parrots. <laughs> I would love to have them a car. All right, guys, they're tiling the ant room, continuing to tile. Yes. Look at that, wow. I cannot believe the ant room will soon be tiled. That's amazing. Oh, wow, guys, look. They're tiling the roof deck. Awesome, good morning. Wow, guys, the roof deck is almost completely tiled. Well, they still have it down there to do. Oh, this is awesome. Now, we chose a darker tile. Uh, so that it can look cleaner because if we chose a lighter tile 
it would always look dirty. Wow, this is awesome. So good. Really, really like it. So here we're planning on building a gazebo. It'll be like a nice shaded area that can hold maybe 10 people or more. Awesome, love it. So great. See, these are the tiles we chose. This gentleman is going to lay one down right now. Wow. Sweet. Thank God, guys, for this good weather because it, it's been raining almost every afternoon. They can only work when it's not raining. I mean, unless they set up a tarp over where they're tiling. But good weather is always good. I, I know they're trying to rush before the onset of like true rainy season, which happens around June or July. So they're really trying to rush this tiling project and everything. So we now have a wall here. Yes, parapet wall all set up. It needs to be refined still. And we got our beautiful acacia up here. See, love it. I love looking at the top of acacia trees. They're just so gorgeous. Acacia trees, guys, are my favorite tree. Like growing up, they always have been. So it's just serendipity that our house is surrounded by acacia. It's, for me, it's one of the most beautiful trees ever. Wow, guys, so cool to see this wall here. They've been working on this wall for a while and now they're just filling it with rocks and stuff. How awesome. So this wall basically keeps the land from like, you know, landsliding down that way towards the staff house and towards our future garden. Look at all of that grass. And cool to see banana trees growing there. All right, so yeah, this is really good. I'm really happy this is built. So cool to be able to walk here like this because usually it was like a hill that sloped downwards towards the staff house level. They even have started creating like the concrete floor. This will all be tiled, by the way. Wow, that's great. Oh, okay, now they're going to work on this concrete wall here on the stairs. Sweet. You like it? Yes. Love it. Guys, this is the bathroom for the closet room, which by the way, closet room is pretty much completely done. We just need to add now the um, modular, the cupboards and all the stuff where the clothes will go. But yes, can't wait to shower here. I know it looks really cool. You guys are really awesome. RJ and Kathy really chose awesome, awesome tiles. It's really an a great skill to be able to like design a space really 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 great you guys already saw this right this is master bathroom they still need to install the glass partition here and the shower head and toilets common second floor guest bathroom you guys saw this already guys they're continuing to paint the master bedroom ceiling all pin lights are in yay super cool by the way guys in terms of paint we'd like to thank the awesome folks at nippon paint for providing all the paint both indoor and outdoor for our entire home thank you so much nippon oh are you liking it yes yeah super cool so i love it mm -hmm. and you know what even my titas loved it yeah, when they came here, we toured them. So, so cool. So now, guys, we're discussing our feature piece that will be right here. Not going to tell you what it is yet because we want it to be a surprise. But now they're talking about logistics, measurements, and that kind of stuff. Guys, I can't wait to show you what we've chosen for this section here. It's actually really cool because... Um, those driving into the subdivision, passing our house, will be able to see this side of the house first. Um, so, assuming our curtains will be drawn, they'll be able to see the piece that we've got for this, this area here. See, guys, would a macaw go all the way up there and hang and like bite? I don't know. I'd love to hear your opinions, macaw owners or even cockatoo owners. Would they hang on to that little ledge and bite? Look at that bird. The birds are already like doing s sky bombs, dive bombs from the top. Anyway, as I was saying, if I put 
driftwood branches just kind of towards the middle. Do you think that would minimize their access to these frames here? That's what I'm concerned about. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Like, assuming I give the parrots lots of activities to do, enrichment activities, you know, hiding of snacks in little places all over the aviary, will that be enough to distract them? from like chewing on my frames? This is a question I have. Or maybe I should just really stick to medium to small birds. I mean, our property is quite large. If ever we do decide to get macaws and turns out they're just, they're causing damage to my window frames. We can always just build a really big outdoor aviary somewhere on the property, maybe the next lot down um, or somewhere in the yard. Guys, it is a beautiful day. Oh, love all this sun. I'm gonna love living out here, guys. Before this, right? Well, before where we're living now, we were living in Manila, which is hot. It's the concrete jungle, the big city, millions and millions of people. But I rarely got like sunlight there because I was always in my condo for most of the time. And like the only time we would go out is if, you know, we had to go somewhere or if we decided to eat at a restaurant. And not to mention lockdown during the pandemic. We were inside the house, the condo for like eight months. We literally did not leave because RJ and I were scared of this whole virus. Um, but yeah, then we moved to so uh, Sonia's garden out in Alfonso and then to our rental house in the same area. It was, it's been great being able to get sun every day, even just, you know, a couple minutes of it. Um, and then, you know, a few seconds of it to and from the gym. But guys, when we move here, I am going to make sure I get ample sun exposure. Cause guys, as much as like Filipinos hate being in the sun, they don't like getting dark. And you know, everyone's afraid of skin cancer. Sunlight, like real sunlight beaming down on your skin is super healthy for so many things. It helps regulate um, hormones through your circadian cycle, right? It stimulates your pineal gland, which, is, uh, which regulates your sleep right so it regulates mood as well a whole bunch of other things it's good for your bones because it helps you produce vitamin d3 which helps you absorb calcium from your diet so many health benefits from being out in the sun so i do look forward you know you know to getting more sun exposure out here when we move to the farmhouse yes but of course you have to be safe i wear sunscreen on my face every day um and for those times when I'll be out in the sun for hours and hours, or even in the aviary for hours and hours, I will probably wear a hat and like put sunscreen on my body, etc. Cause yeah, you know, skin cancer is still, still a thing. For my skin, I don't burn, I get dark. Uh, I would really need to stay out in the sun for literal hours, like a, about a day in order to start peeling. Um, which is more than I could say for RJ, cause if he's out in the sun for like bare skin, for, I don't know, an hour, he's already burnt. It hurts, he's red, it probably blisters. So guys, we're here at the supermarket, which is actually really, really close to us. Like literally a five minute drive. And guys, RJ and I were shopping here the other day. It has everything. It's actually bigger than the supermarket that was n near us in Manila. Look at how massive, it's huge. Guys, there's everything here. There's even a pharmacy. Like moving out into the farm, I was scared like, oh no, we might not be able to, you know, access certain products. They have everything guys. Almond milk. All my health products, which we normally had to order online through like Shopee and stuff, they sell here. Like chia seeds and all that. So guys, they've got like a food area with pizza and like pasta. So there's like ready to eat food. And then there's like a menu where they go out and they buy the ingredients and then they cook it for you. Look at that. That is an awesome idea. Hi, Chef Archie. Guys, this is Chef Archie. We'll be seeing you often. <laughs> what a cool thing. It's kind of like Dampa. You know the wet market here in the Philippines where you buy your fish and then the restaurants cook it for you? Well, same thing here, except they go buy the ingredients and then they cook it for you. How neat! I love that idea! Sweet, they even make the Filipino dessert halo halo. Awesome. Look at all these fresh ingredients. They make bubble tea. Oh, I love this. There's so much to choose from. And guys, this 
whole supermarket is attached to a mall with everything. They've got like a, they've even got a movie theater here. <laughs> if RJ and I ever want to go to the movies. Other restaurants on that side, different stores, they have like a, this supermarket has like a home, home goods like section for home decor and like furniture and stuff. It's crazy. Okay guys, RJ just abandoned me. Where did he go? He went shopping. See, there's the like pharmacy area. There's even clothes. How awesome. That's really convenient. Wow guys, Chef Archie is cooking our food now. Whoa! Oh, that is awesome. He's making pinak bed, which is like Filipino um, vegetable stew. All right, Chef Archie. I love that. Let's see? Look at that. All oh, this is gonna be so good. Oh my gosh, guys. Mmm. This looks delicious. Guys, I look like I just rolled out of bed <laughs> here at the supermarket. I didn't expect us to be here, but I got hungry, so let's eat. Do you like pinak bed? Have you guys tried this? It's like the Filipino traditional vegetable stew. Yum. Wow. They put fresh, like, green onions on it. Mmm, ampalaya, squash. There's ladies' fingers, okra. Okay, let's try it. <gasps> Healthy! Let's eat. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. <laughs> it's so good. Mmm. Chef Archie is awesome. I'm giving this five Mabuhay stars. <laughs> So flavorful, so good. Wow guys, soy chicken. <gasps> Let's taste, he says it's their best seller. Guys, this is almost like, it reminds me of Walmart. <laughs> Let's eat. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Guys, it's like chicken tenders. <gasps> oh my. Mmm, mm-hmm. Guys, I forgot my name. Is it Peter? Is it George? I forgot. Oh my goodness, guys, look at the sinigang. This is fish uh, sour soup. Guys, let's try the soup, the sinigang. Oh, I bet this is going to be sour. Mmm, oh my gosh, mmm. Oh, so good. Who would have thought that eating at a supermarket, food would be so good, mmm. And guys, RJ just mentioned that this isn't a powdered mix because sinigang is also offered in a powdered mix. But no, Chef Archie totally made this from scratch. Like the sourness comes from what? Some kind of sour agent. Here in the Philippines, you can use several ingredients to make the soup sour, including tamarind, um, calamansi even. Oh, wow. Guys, I'm having certain ideas. Okay guys, and I'd like you to meet the sous chef. What's your name? Aiko. Hi. Aiko? Yes. Aiko, and because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> thank, hey, you. thank you. Bye. Archie, mm. salamat. The thank food you. is so good. I think we'll be seeing more of you soon. Yes, sir. Bye. Yes. Bye. Hello, po. Oh. oh. Yes, of course, of course. What's your name? Charles, sir. Charles, because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Yeah, thank you. What's your name? Sharon. Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Pictures. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Bye, so guys. Long. Keep up the great work. Isn't that place awesome, guys? Seriously. <laughs> you know, coming out here when we first got the property, we were like, this is in the middle of nowhere. Seriously. But then, like, over time, like development started popping up. I think this place existed back when we first bought the property, but I, I'm I don't think it was as developed. But yeah, it's really awesome. And I'm I also heard in this town they will be building a uh, an SM, which is like a big chain of super malls here in the Philippines. So I mean, this town or city is developing, uh, which is cool because 
where we're living is kind of like an oasis because there's nature all around and like our yard is a forest and I hope we continue to maintain all of that. I think we will because all the space even around our subdivision is still farm land so I think it will still have the farm feel but so good that this place exists here. Yay! Ah, so nice. I love looking at the rock cladding because I was always used to that upper part, bald, with the rock cladding there almost complete. That looks awesome. My ideas about how I'm going to decorate this aviary keep changing. Like, uh, I don't know, there's so many things, so much pressure. It needs to look good, it needs to be very functional, and I just can't wait to see it with birds. It's kind of like what I do on the Ants Canada channel when I design terrariums. Except this is like macro level, it's like large scale. So uh, it's harder. <laughs> We're trying to see how much weight the rings can hold. And it looks like it can hold a human person. Great, thank you. So RG and Kathy now are plotting our living room with furniture. We're actually, we have a list of uh, furnitures that we've taken photos of in the store um, and we're just planning on what works based on measurements. Yeah, so depending on measurements and what we agree to, we're holding off on buying like the major furniture like couches and all that. We have bought some furniture already and it takes several months to construct. So, a, a few months rather. This process is so cool and tedious. It involves math, and I am not a fan of math. The third floor, uh, which is the top floor of the ant room, now has a roof. They're going to install insulation, but right now we're planning where track lighting will be in this room. The ceiling will still be high, it'll still be a vaulted ceiling. Um, but we have to plan where the lights will be going. Man, guys, I can't wait for this anteroom to be done, finally. I can't wait to just stock it with terrariums and everything, pets, all of that. Oh my god, Mabu High Squad, listen to the sound of the rain <laughs> on the metal roof. That is so loud. Wow, it is really royally raining right now. Wow, it's just beautiful. Watching the rain fall from this point, from this vantage point, is awesome. There's just something about a tropical storm. Wow, it's awesome. See that, guys? So cool. So the roof deck doesn't have a roof right now, um, but all water gets, it flows to a drain, several drains around the roof deck. Thanks, guys. All right, Mabu High Squad, our Work is done for the day, and now I am taking you to somewhere special. Mm -hmm. You guys will love where we are heading next. Let's go. Another adventure! Yeah!